consider this array the elements of the array is coming from the set 11 12 13 here uh, this 11 is appearing only once 12 three times and 13 two times you know already what kind of elements will be there in the array that is it is falling in particular range here the range is 11 to 13 that is upper limit is 13 and lower limit is 11 so 11 to 13 only this elements will be there in the array so whenever you have elements like this uh, you can sort this elements of the array by distribution counting sort so for that you are required to count the frequencies for array distinct values here distinct values are 11 12 13 first find out the frequency <coughs> for 11 it is 1 12 3 and 13 2 then find out the distribution value this is in order to place the values in the array so in the first place 11 will be there from 2 to 4 you have to copy 12 and 5 to 6 13 so 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 2 6 so like this you are required to find out the distribution values now we will see the algorithm pseudo code of this in this algorithm first you are required to set the frequency for for uh, distinct elements of the array it's equal to zero so how many such distinct elements are there in the array upper limit minus lower limit number of this many number of uh, distinct elements will be there for all that elements you are required to initialize the frequency with value zero okay so here uh, in this algorithm the array elements are like this the input is like this and l is 11 and u is 13 now vary j from 0 to u minus l dj equal to 0 that is d0 d1 d2 equal to 0 so once you have done this next step is you have to compute the frequency for 11 12 13 how do you do that for that vary loop from 0 to n minus 1 da of i minus l equal to dai minus l plus 1 so like this you can compute the frequencies now here the first element is 13 that is d of 13 minus 11 is 13 minus 11 is 2 d2 that is d2 increment the count of d2 by 1 now it is equal to one because because in the earlier it is iteration it is equal to zero then d of 11 minus 11 that is d0 d0 is incremented now it is equal to one like that d12 again one it is 13 earlier value is one now it is when you increment it is equal to two then d of one again so because 12 12 minus 11 is 1 d of 1 is 2 d of 1 again increment it is increment now it is equal to 3 so now you have found the frequency for 11 12 13 next step is you have to reuse for distribution how do you find the reuse for distribution so for that vary loop from 1 to u minus l dj equal to dj minus 1 plus dj so this is what you are required to do now d1 equal to d0 plus d0 plus d1 d0 is 1 1 plus 3 equal to 4 again d2 equal to d1 plus d2 4 plus 2 it is equal to 6 now d0 is 1 d1 is 4 d2 is 6 now you have found the distribution values now the next part is you are required to sort the array elements so in order to sort you have to scan through all the elements of the array scan from last element to the first element and then copy the element in into the new array called as 
this contains the sorted elements so this is what you are required to do i'll just show you in the tracing part this is our so uh, vary i from n minus 1 down to 0 you are required to do set j equal to a i minus l l value is 11 here and uh, s of d j minus 1 equal to a i d j equal to d j minus 1 now uh, there are six elements so i value initially is equal to 5 now 5 minus 11 is sorry a of i a of i is um, here 12 12 minus 11 is 1 so d of 1 is 4 so d of 1 is 4 you have to copy uh, this a i that is 12 onto the array s of d d1 is 4 minus 1 that is s3 in s3 you have to copy element 12 similarly uh, now decrement the count of dj now dj equal to 3 in the next iteration uh, when i equal to 4 that is a4 is 12 12 minus 11 is 1 only so d1 is nothing but 3 3 s of 3 minus 1 is s2 in s2 you have to copy this element 12 so similarly once you have copied you have to decrement the value of dj now dj is equal to 2 now next element you are trying to copy is 13 that is 13 minus 11 is 2 that is d2 you have to consider so d2 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 s of 5 is 13 so that you have to copy here again uh, you have to decrement the dj value it's being decremented here it's become it, it has become now fine next uh, step what you are required to do is now i value is 2 here so when i value is 2 a2 is nothing but a2 is 12 12 minus uh, l that is 11 is 1 d1 d1 is 2 now so uh, that is 2 minus 1 in s of 1 you are required to copy 12 then decrement this d1 then finally i value is 0 a0 is 13 13 minus 11 is 2 that is d2 d2 is nothing but 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 in d4 you are required to copy a j sorry a i a i is 13 so copy that 13 so like this you can sort the elements of the array in ascending order by distribution counting sort algorithm this is an example for input enhancement because here for elements of the array distinct elements of the array you are finding the frequencies and distribution values this additional information you are adding in order to sort the elements. So, this is an example for input enhancement.